everybody, this is Argon Matrix, welcoming you to episode 74 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And I guess this is going to be my first video that extends beyond 11 minutes. What do you know, that's awesome. I love the new time limit, it gives me so much more time to just do random crap. Anyway, so, um, yeah, let's just get into it here. Um, I was thinking between, like, after the last video of what I could do other than, um, uh, other than progress the story, so like before I progress the story, and there's really nothing. There's no side quests. Um, I don't think there's any skull shells I can get. Oh, hey, opponent. Uh, but I can check that. Let's just see here. Uh, Gruta's Fortress and Gruta's Valley. I haven't been there yet, so there's still skull shells to clear out there. Like Hylia has done, Long Long Ranch, Market, Hyrule Field, Death Mountain, Kakarika Village, Lost Woods, Kokiri Forest, and Zora's Domain. There is one there that I can. Yeah, I think there's only one left there that I, and I can't get it yet. And we have 78 total. Awesome. Alright, so we're just going to leave opponent there, because the trip over here isn't too bad. Yep. So, if you remember, um, Navi, in the last episode, she actually told us that we have to go, fi we have to go find someone who might know about something about the other sages. So, um, where do we go for that? Like, there's no clear indication, really. But, you're supposed to go to Kakariko Village. I guess that's just because that there's a lot of people there and stuff, and there might be some information that we can find. So, let's go to- Oh, Navi, you shut up. Oh my god, what? It's a fire! It's a fire! It's a fiery, flaming, flamey fire! Oh my god. What's that? What's happened? The House of Skullshill is on fire. No! Now I can't get my reward, even if I collect all 100. Because it'll all be dead. It's no fair. Oh my god, it's terrible. What is happening here? <gasps> it's Sheik! Holy crap. What's he doing? What's up? I'm so confused right now. What? Um. Hey, dude. Yeah. Get back, Argon. What's happening? Oh shit. What the hell was that? What's this? Oh, it starts raining all of a sudden now. Wow. How ominous. And the well. What the? Huh? Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> it's toss. It's tossing sheep around like a. That's so hilarious, but still awful at the same time. Oh shit, it's a brown shadow thing. What's it doing? Yeah, you take out your sword. Dude, take out your big Goron sword, not that little master sword, tiny piece of crap. Oh god, oh god, it's- yeah, get a spin tack ready. That's gonna hit something that's on the ground! Ow. That sounded painful. I love how they just like black and us like this this scene is too graphic. Viewer discretion is advised. There's the windmill, yeah. Hey Sheik. Yeah, what what the hell was that? Do you mind explaining? Looks like you're coming around. Yeah, I guess so. There's the windmill again. Argon, a terrible thing has happened. The evil shadow spirit that has been released. Impa, the leader of Kakariko Kakariko Village, has sealed the evil shadow spirit in the bottom of the well. But the force of the evil spirit got so strong, the seal of the well broke, and it escaped into the world! Double exclamation points. I believe Impa has gone to the Shadow Temple to seal it again, but she will be in danger without any help. Argon, Impa is one of the six sages. Oh, thanks for spoiling it, dude. Destroy the evil shadow spirit and save Impa! There is an entrance to the Shadow Temple beneath the graveyard behind this village. Well, how do I get there? What the hell? The only thing I can do for you is teach you the melody that will lead you to the Shadow Temple. Sweet. This melody that will draw you into the infinite darkness that absorbs even time. Listen to this. The Nocturne of Shadow! Double exclamation point again! And... Let's listen. Yeah. This is my favorite song in the game, by the way. Just thought that might be interesting for you to know. It's just so ominous. Now watch this. This is creepy, kind of. Just the music, I think, makes it creepy. There's the windmill again. Hi! You have learned the Nocturne of Shadow. Sweet! Alright. Let me take care of the village. I'm counting- what? 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 Oh, the f I guess the rain doused the fire. I was about to ask what happened to the fire, but... Alright then. And he's counting on me. 
and of course he's going to disappear with his awesome epic Deku nerve power. And yeah. Um, oh yeah, something interesting that after that cutscene, you might, I'm just going to show this just because it's a one time thing. If you feel this sun song right after, then uh, you'll see what happens. Just play the sun song and it'll turn into daytime, but you'll appear right in the middle of the village because normally you'd appear at like the entrance of the village over there. But since that's the last place you entered in from the cutscene, um, I guess that's where you appear. So anyways, yeah, that's that. But before we actually play the Nocturne of Shadow and move on to the Shadow Temple, um, we're going to play a different song that we've, ar that we've already played several times before, the Prelude of Light, because there is something that we have to do as a kid that will help tremendously in the Shadow Temple. It's not, it's not required, but it really, really does help. And I've never, I've never done the Shadow Temple without it, so we're just gonna do that. Yep. All right. So let's go back to being a kid, I guess, because that's where our duty lies, I guess. Ah, uh, yep. All right. Roll, 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 and put the Master Sword back. Oh my God. That's the sound of Link returning to being a kid, if you didn't know. Alright, so now we have to go to Kakariko Village, and actually the fastest way to Kakariko Village is uh, the new song that we learned, The Nocturne Shadow. Oh, I, I failed that. There we go. Yeah, because this warps us to the graveyard, which is the closest place that we can warp to to reach Kakariko, so now we don't really have to walk there anymore. Yeah, purple. I turned into a purple wisp and appear over here behind the graveyard. Yeah, so as you can see, there's a tunnel behind us that leads to the Shadow Temple, but we're gonna go and leave here first. Don't fall in the hole. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, so yeah. Um, you probably, some, you may be wondering what we're doing here, but remember way back when I learned the Song of Storms from that guy in the windmill? I think his name is Guru Guru or something. And he said that some kid seven years ago played that song with an ocarina and messed up his windmill somehow. Well, um, that is pretty much an unfulfilled pro prophecy. That is a cause without an event to cause it or whatever. So now that we actually have the Song of Storms, we can go over here to Guru Guru, go in front of him, and play the Song of Storms. Alright, and once you do that, you will activate something kind of interesting. Oh god. And the music gets all like, what the hell? Oh my god, the windmill's going so fast. How did that work? Why is it raining inside? This is creepy. And doo -doo -doo, the windmill's going super fast. Holy shit. And for some reason, that is going to drain the water out of that well. So now we can actually go inside the well at, like, the bottom of it. And let's talk to him, just for the hell of it. Go around, go around, go around. What? It's going to way too fast. Yes, it is. See, so you can't even, like, walk against it. You, so you, I'm just going to take it around here and leave. So that's kind of a funny scene. I like the chic ragdoll scene that we saw earlier in this video. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to talk to you. All right. Normally, I'd say we only have about two minutes left at this point, but no, we have like, what, six minutes now? Holy crap. That's weird. Alright, so you come to the bottom of the well, and there's a tunnel down here. It's a secret passage. The bottom of the well. We're gonna enter here, and this is gonna be interesting. This is a very interesting place. I kinda like it, and I, at the same time, at the same time, I kinda don't. Alright. So, oh, there's a sculpture there. Let's just, or a big sculpture, or whatever. Let's go ahead and kill it. There we go. And if you target this guy, um, Navi will actually tell you something interesting if you use her. I can hear the spirits whispering in this room. Look for the eye of truth. That's what they're saying. Yep, and, um, basically, you wouldn't really know this from that, but you can actually walk through this wall. Yep. That's what you're supposed to do, actually. It's not like a glitch or anything. You're actually supposed to walk through that wall. All right. Now we have to start looking for the Eye of Truth. But we don't really know what that is, do we? All right. So, yeah, this is actually a kind of a mini dungeon, I guess. 
it, there is a dungeon map and a compass and everything. This wall, it says something here. Danger below. That's what it says. Yeah, so don't approach there or else something bad will happen. Trust me. Anyways, so basically the first thing you want to do is come over here and look at that. There's a Triforce symbol in the ground. So, what do you do whenever you see a Triforce? You pull up magic beans, of course! Why do I have magic beans equipped in the first place? And why is it lagging? Uh, is it stopped lagging? No, it hasn't stopped lagging. Alright, I'm gonna... Oh, shit! What was that green flash on the screen? Find out when it stops lagging. Okay, I believe it has stopped lagging, so let's find out what that green flash was. It was that guy. Not too interesting. So anyways, like I said, there's a Triforce in the ground here, and whenever you see a Triforce, you want to play Zelda's Lullaby. Oh god, it's lagging again, I can hear it over there. Bah. Okay, it stopped. That was very brief. Stupid 15 minute time limit is making me lag more in this video for some reason. No. But as you can see, playing that drains the water here. And that is very useful. Um, you can go down there and get some bombs for whatever reason. Alright, um, it's lagging again. Holy shit, why is it lagging so much? Uh, stop lagging. Alright, really? Okay. Okay. This is not entertaining for me or my viewers. So I'm going to stop, and I'm going to wait. Alright, I think it stopped lagging again, so we're just gonna continue here, and hopefully it doesn't lag out. If it lags out for a third time, I am going to officially call the end of this LP. Yep. Alright, so once the water's drained, you can actually come down here, which is un which in which there's another secret passage. Yep, so the water hides passages in this video, I guess. In the bottom of the well, in the bottom of the well. Yeah. Oh god, I forgot about you. You dick. Why'd you have to do that? Yeah, do your pendulum thing, whatever. I'm just gonna kill you like that. I'm gonna smash your face with an iron. Except it wasn't your face, it was your back. And there's a door over here. Hmm. Very interesting. And oh, this guy. I remember this guy. Alright, so basically there's four random zombie-like arms around here. And you have to let one of them grab you. Just trust me on this. See, one of them grabs you and suddenly a boss fight will start. And basically you want to try to escape from the grasp of that arm by like rapidly pressing B. And this guy will come. And you want to charge up your spin attack. Trust, Just trust me. And stand here, wait for him. He'll lean his face down, and you hit him just like that. You should hit him twice, just like that. And then he'll go away, and kind of boom! Boom! He disappears. So, let's get grabbed again, and he will reappear. Oh god, no, no! Let me go, 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 please! Holy shit. That was, that was too close. Yeah, this guy is really creepy. I just don't, I don't really like him. He's just too creepy for my liking. Alright, 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 he didn't even appear. Alright, there he goes. Let's do this, let's do this. Look at the creepy red fingernails on those hands too, I just noticed that. That's scary, that's some scary shit. Alright, charge up your spin tech again. I'm a charge in my laser. And he dies, dropping some magic for us. Whoa. And, oh, that is creepy. That is creepy right there. Look at his body twitching and it's like... Uh, b -b -b -b. He's like a reed ed except worse. And here is a special item. Is it going to be the dungeon ma map? Is it going to be the compass? No, in fact, it's going to be... A magnifying glass. You found the lens of truth. Set it to C and press C to look through it. Mysterious things are hidden everywhere. Be sure to try to use it outside of the well. Seeing the truth will cost magic power, so press C again to stop using it. Indeed. Um, so yeah, basically that is a special item that allows you to see invisible things, so, yeah. So like, I, yeah, see there's a chest hidden back here, it's invisible, but if you use the lens of truth, you'll be able to pick up a big ruby there, which I didn't need because my wall's full, grr! And oh, looks like we're approaching the end of this episode at 14 minutes and 30 seconds-ish. Um, so I think we're just gonna call it quits there. Hopefully, um, there wasn't any lag that I wasn't aware of, because I didn't hear anything, but you never know, it could just be video lag. But, yeah, again, sorry for all the lag in this episode, but we made a lot of progress thanks to our new time limit friend. Anyways, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.